हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय हिंद वेलकम टू व्यू टॉपिक्स टूडे व्यू टॉपिक्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑफिस ऑफ सी ए जी सी ए जी स्टैंड फॉर कंट्रोलर ऑडिटर जनरल द प्रोविजन इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द आर्टिकल्स विच आर प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द सी ए जी आर आर्टिकल नंबर वन फोर्टी एट वन फोर्टी नाइन वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी वन दीज आर द आर्टिकल्स विच प्रोवाइड विद द प्रोविजन ऑफ द सी ए जी You see that the Parliament is using the public money for the welfare of the nation. To check whether the Parliament is using that same money for the welfare of the nation or not, there is CAG. CAG is CAG. The office of CAG is there to keep the account of the money expended by the government. You see, the CAG used to provide the report, used to make the report uh, about the expenditure of the government and. the cag used to submit the report to the two to the two authorities these two authorities are first president and second pac here pac stands for public accounts committee the cag doesn't holds any power regarding the expenditure record of the government therefore cag the office of cag has often been said as the barking dog it can only show that where the expenditure malfunctioning has been done but it doesn't hold any power to make any provision regarding the better use of the funds that's why it is often been called as a barking dog so now the cag used to give the report to the two authorities the first one is president and the second one is pac which stands for public accounts committee now what is this public accounts committee before discussing about the public accounts committee first let us know what is parliament committees parliament committees are actually formed it's a group of committees a group group of people and this committee is formed on the ad hoc basis and they can be of two types first is advisory committee and second is investigation committee advisory committee and investigation committee so there are few very important committees the first one is estimate committees estimate committees is the largest committee it consists of 30 members especially of all of all members will be of lok sabha and it will be uh, the tenure of this committee will be of one year and the and the members of this p uh, so the members of this estimate committee will not be allowed to hold a ministerial positions the second committee a very important committee known as pac which stands for public accounts committee public accounts the number of member of the public accounts committee is 22 out of which 15 members are of are from lok sabha and seven members are from rajya sabha so this pac holds a meeting together and we should discuss and investigate into the reports which has been submitted by the cag and used to present that particular report in the parliament and used to ask questions from the government so these are some of the very important committees uh, that's all for today thank you